Hello and greetings from the yurt. So this video is for you who stole my Swiss Army pocket knife. Uh, that's been a while ago and I think uh, the story connected to this is uh, maybe interesting. So I tell you the story so that you know that it's you who stole this pocket knife. Uh, it was in 2001, I believe. Um, and I was in, on a trip with a bicycle from India to Germany. Or let's say from a place that our species, from the places that our species calls India and Germany. So I was hanging around in Pakistan waiting for my visum to get into Iran. And while I was waiting for my visum, I thought that, well, I just take a bus up this uh, Karakoram highway, um, just kind of as a day trip. So I was in this bus um, and went up this Karakoram highway to some point and then returned with the same bus. And the Karakoram highway, if you don't know it, um, it doesn't really deserve in many places, or I guess in most places, the name highway, at least not back then. So what the highway looked like was like, um, you know, just basically a narrow road where you cannot really take over, um, like just a gravel road. And in many places it was just in this, um, you know, like valley or deep gorge. So you had like high cliffs on the one side and then right next to the, to the bus, it would go down up to hundreds of meters and down in the valley, you'd see like a little river and some farmland, um, but also like lots of racks of trucks and buses, like burned out racks. So, um, yeah, so this was, uh, the trip was going on and at some point the bus, like I was on the way back and then the bus broke down and like I had become friends with a guy in the bus and we started to you know, talk, we've been talking and then I decided that, um, or we decided that we will just walk ahead. The bus, at some point they will fix it. Um, there's no other place where this bus can go and the bus will eventually catch up with us. So we just decided to go for a walk and it was a really nice walk. At some point the bus caught up with us and when I went uh, back to my seat, I noticed that in my bag that I, for some stupid reason, left behind um that it was opened um like it was this little kind of ditty bag or something um and missing was like a lighter and my very very first pocket knife that my kind of grandfather gave to me so i was like emotionally very attached to this pocket knife swiss army pocket knife and uh, then at some point came this police uh, checkpoint. There are, you know, there were frequent these police checkpoints where they put up um, some, you know, like a chair and a table and there's this police officer surrounded by gun guys with guns. And then everybody in the bus lines up and gets their passports checked. And, and when this guy looked at my passport, he's, oh, Alemania, Alemania, how do you like Pakistan? And very friendly and very nice. And it's like, oh, it's a wonderful country. Um, and, and then I said this sentence that I really should not have said. I said, like, uh, I'm, I'm just a bit sad in the moment because somebody just stole my pocket knife. So what happened next was a nightmare. Uh, it was really a horrible story. Um, and I feel really bad about this because it was just a pocket knife. Um, so what happened was that these officers alarm bells went on. The pride of Pakistan is in danger. <clears throat> and now I'm going to show this young tourist chap, uh, backpacking guy, um, how we are dealing with this. So he put all his gunmen, like guys with Kalashnikovs, in the bus, ordered all the windows closed. And the guys were standing in the bus with the, with the, you know, with the guns in their hands and watching everyone closely. And then the bus started driving for what seemed like an eternity, at least a couple of hours, to some police fortress somewhere in a, you know, it was a bit flatter land and it was like really, <coughs> I would say desert. <coughs> so it was very dry and it was like so hot. It was unbelievably hot um, and the windows were closed and there were like families and uh, children and the children were crying in the bus because it was so hot. It was horrible 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 and i felt so bad 
And then when we arrived at this police fortress, they started to make this kind of investigation place. So you had like this where, you know, where people are getting searched and questioned. Um, so they had like one for women and one for men, one table for women and one for men. And um, I was like trying to figure out how to get out of this situation. So I was like all the time on the heels of this police officer and telling him that, oh, this is so interesting uh, how you're doing all this work. Um, I, I would like to watch you doing this work. So uh, how are you doing these things? Uh, I just wanted to be there that in case they find the knife that I would be there and I could say, no, this is not my knife. Because I was afraid that somebody would be, you know, getting a hand chopped off or I don't know what could have happened. So, um, yeah, and then, then this, um, all these um, people were searched and one guy had a, the lighter. Uh, I recognized the lighter um, and I didn't, of course, say anything. The knife wasn't found. So, um, I, I really, really hope that if you're watching this video, if, you know, this by coincidence is being shared to you, please enjoy this knife. Uh, don't feel bad about taking it. Um, I, I don't believe that it's possible to own anything. Property is a weird human idea. Um, so now it's in your use and I hope it's in good use. Um, and I have actually another knife. So uh, actually more than one. So I have more knives than I personally can use. So please enjoy this knife. Um, and yeah, have a good time. Love you. Bye bye.